A little under a month ago, I was excited because I got this, my Bamboo Labs P1P. Now, roll on to today, I've had another delivery, this, Bamboo Labs, and I'm excited again. Now, before we get too giddy, it's not a new printer, it's not an AMS system, it's the bits that I need to turn my P1P into a P1S. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you how I do this modification, how I fit this bits. I'm Mad Mark Malloy, keep watching. <laughs> Hello, let's unbox it, let's pull the things out and see what we've got in here. So obviously I'm going to very carefully open the top of the box. I'll stick my knife in too deep. I don't want to do serious damage to anything in here, but if it's anything like the P1P printer that I got before, that I've got rather, um, everything will be very well packaged. There we go. So let's have a look. Two big boxes. I imagine these are probably side panels. In fact, if I put my glasses on, it says that this is the right plastic panel. So let's open this. I've been known as slasher burns in the past. That's a very good burn. Splashing myself and burning myself. So, well, that's the part. It's a nice plastic panel. Goes on the side. Got the screws with it. Plastic. And that's good. So I'm going to keep that together. Keep that in the box so I know exactly what it is. More organised, I've got a bit of masking tape and just tape on exactly what each item is. So this here, it's obviously going to be the panel on the other side, left plastic panel. You can all guess what that's going to look like, so I'll not bother opening that. Next, we have the front glass door. Nice big jiffy bag, open it up. Pull it out, and then we've got a box. Oh, it's like past the parcel, man. There we go. Pull this out, and have a little peek. You can see there, we have the door. It's got a nice surrounding on it. Places here for the hinges. That's great. Keep that in there. Protect it for now. You do realise I'm taking everything out of here, but it will soon it'll go straight back into the box. <laughs> Once I've unearthed everything. Oh, this quite, feels quite heavy. What have we got here? So this is the rear metal panel. So, so I guess this is what the, the fans going to mount to and what have you. So, ooh, not particularly expertly done there. Oh, so a bit of variation here. So whereas previously we had the box in a jiffy bag, we've now got a jiffy bag in a box. There we go. Fantastic. Pop that back in here. Put that to one side. Venture once more into the box. Oh, we've got another biggie here. Now, this must be a glass cup plate for the roof. And lo and behold, it is. We're going back now to the box in the jiffy bag. Excitement and the variation here in different methods of packaging is Reminds me a bit of these unboxing channels that uh, my daughter watches. We have 3D printer accessories. Ooh. I wonder what 
collection list. Let's open this up and see what we've got inside. Oh, there's a bit of tape on there. Oh, this looks like the fun. Some nice stickers to stick that on. As for the other things, we've got screws and the fan itself. There we go. Lovely. Wrap that up as best I can. Put that in here, close the box, and stash it with the rest of the bits. I'm just going to have this as a little section right at the beginning of my video and then do the installation. I think there's so much stuff here, I reckon, that's another fan by the looks of I reckon what I'll do is just do this as an unboxing in the next one as the assembly. My daughter will find something crafty she can do with that. So this fan here, is that labelled on there? This is the chamber temperature regulation fan. Just a bit like what you have in a fan oven, I guess, to uh, ensure that you get a constant temperature throughout the chamber, which is great. We now have a 3D printer PIP heavy. No idea what this is. No idea. Could this be something to do with the cable? Is there any other description on there? No. Oh, right, here we go. Heavy duty tool head cable. So, yes, that's what I thought that was. box which will make it easier for me when I come to use it. Okay, cool. Now the seams more boxes in here than I expected that a bit. This one is PTFE tube. Okay, so that's a couple of bits of PTFE tube. Accessory. This here is front door mounting kit. I'm not going to take that out. Shall I? No, if it's an unboxing, I've got to do it properly and take everything out. So there we can see we have hinges. We have the hinges in here. Um, spring hinges by the looks of it, so they'll kind of spring themselves closed and keep closed. And we've got the mounting kit, the screws, and what have you on that. Back in the box, so I know what it is. My memory so Oh, there's more, there's more, and there's more. Oh, and that looks like a, a rubber gasket of sorts. I'm not sure where that where that'll actually go. Perhaps that's where the um, the door closes against that. We shall see, I'm sure all will become clear. Once we start going through the instructions. Oh. Away me bunny lad, what we got, what we got. And here we have, oh the carbon filter. So activate the carbon filter and I believe that allows you to um, run nasty um, materials like ABS is it? Yeah, ABS, so that's good. Drop one on the floor here, another bag. And 
this is a control board fan. So I guess because things are, are housed in even more now, because we've got the panels and everything on, there's a chance that the control board might get a bit um, hotter. So we've got a fan. That looks like a, a bit of sticky tape there. That looks like a fan, just a 40 by 40 fan, is it? Familiar with those sort of things from upgrading me uh, end of three that I had. It wasn't a case of upgrading, it was it's failed and needed replacing. Oh, bear with me a sec. Okay, so we're getting close to the end here. Ooh, a biggie. Jiffy bag. That drag chain. I reckon that's what that is. Yes. So we have the. What's that? Is that a mount for the? Let's have a look at the instructions on this. Okay. So that is a bracket that fits inside, and then I reckon that must have the mounts for the drag chain. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what to call it drag chains there. We've got a... Alright, we've got a little um, feed. So I guess this probably feeds the, um, the filament in through the back as opposed to over the top on the PS, uh, P1P. I guess with the P1S, if you've got a roof on, you can't um, feed the filament in through from the top. So that. And last but not least, we have, I never looked on the box of this one, what was that, what did that say? Cable chain. Right, so here we go. Let's run across here. This and try and remember what's, uh, what's still missing. Oh, 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 this is. I should have looked at the uh, description on here, shouldn't I? This is, hang on, where's my glasses? Front cover. Ah, so it's the front cover at the top, is that? There we go, front cover. I'm looking at that. I reckon the, the display must fit on there. Yeah, and that, the cable can go and the cable can go through that. Okay, that's good. Oh, we got the SD card slot on the top. Lovely. And then along with that, we have some silicon glue for reinforcing connections, and we have a series of screws. So we take them and put them inside. Now, what I was expecting was some written instructions, so as there's none here, I'm suspecting that I must have to get those from online, so pack everything in my box, get the instructions out, and then I'll come back in a new video to show you how I'm fitting all this stuff together. I'm not saying I'll do it all by the book, but um, hopefully get it all assembled. Voila! There we go. Mad Mark Malloy, checking out. See you in the assembly vid.